we're live. <laughs> oh. We'll see. I hope it's working. Uh, yeah, can you turn off the sound on your end? Oh no. Hello! <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Hello! Oh. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Sasha, look alike. <laughs> uh, this is getting closer to her bedtime. Hello. Thanks for joining. How's everyone's night? Oh, thank you. So I got them at... Um, I got them on Poshmark. It was like my first uh, purchase or whatever. I would love to tag the uh, boutique that I got them from. She did such a phenomenal job with like the little packaging. It was called like B as in like the um, the animal, the bee. <laughs> um, the bee boutique it's called and it was just beautiful and it had like a little bee sticker and the earrings themselves i've gotten so many compliments on them so yeah i will love to tag them at the end um oh nice football game fun so fun Thank you for joining to the new people up there. Thank you, thank you. Is it Lacey or how do you, I wish you could, I wish you could tell me. Oh, my husband said Lacey, probably Lacey as it's written, probably. <laughs> Lacey, okay. I have like new friends now, so just trying to make sure I say their name correctly. I have Sasha. In the back, she actually never gets to go on my thrifting journeys because most dogs are not allowed at Goodwill. It's ridiculous. Um, oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and um, she is not as lively as I thought she would be. <laughs> we had a pretty good walk uh, this afternoon and she's kind of tired. But I told her, at least wear a bandana. <laughs> I'm like, come on, girl. Um, yes. How many puppies do you have? I would love to get another one, but anyway, still convincing certain people in my household. Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to post the bee market? Oh, bee yes. Bee. Do you have them on there? Yeah, I just need to purchase them. Oh, thank you. Yes, they were $13. I just, I love them. I've gotten so many compliments on them, but yeah. Fun, fun, fun. What's everyone doing? What's everyone up to? Sorry, I can't see everybody on there, but two puppies, they know. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, so there's like a lagging time. It's so interesting. Okay, yes. My husband just posted the name of the little, um, I think I called it a boutique. I don't even know, but it's super, super nice. Love them. Mm -hmm. What's... Two Shih Tzus and one Shih Tzu Yorkie mix. Oh, I love it. The more the merrier. <laughs> we lived with family for a while and um, we had, yeah, two dogs and it was just awesome. And then we lived with friends for a while too and also had two dogs because of their dog. And I just think they kept each other busy the entire time. So that was nice. Hello. Thank you for saying hi. Hi, Natalie. Thank you, thank you for joining. Oh yes, you're fine, yes. Have fun. Okay. Well, I wanted to just 
kind of share a little bit about um, my story and how I got into reselling recently. Um, as you can see, I have like a little rack on this side um, and some fall decorations. I wanted it to be uh, like a fall theme for today. Um, so we can go through some sweaters together and there were so many stuff that I even like run out of hangers down here. So <laughs> I have to get more hangers. Um, but hi Alexis. Thank you for joining. <laughs> um, but yeah, super, super excited to show you some of my finds. Um, I decided to take the, take the leap and share that I have been wanting to do this for a while. Um, I was really scared to, I had so many fears, didn't really know what I wanted to do about it or how I wanted to start it. Um, but I told my husband and he, and I told my mom, she was the second person I called. And, um, the whole reason behind it is that I have, um, or I had an aunt who basically taught me everything I know about thrifting and she, would take me to swap meets. Um, and I remember living right in front of one actually. So it was super nice. Um, and she and I would actually, at the time there were like huge, um, what are they called? Barrels. There we go. Barrels. And they smelled like garlic. And so, um, it was awful <laughs> and it was so, so smelly, but I was the smallest, right? Like I was the youngest of all of them. And so we, uh, kind of took turns, but it was basically me because they could, they could grab me and the kind of because they were tall barrels too, so they could kind of put me over, <laughs> tip me over, so I could reach the uh, the items at the bottom. Um, but yeah, so that's how I knew how to you know how to have an eye for things, not how to you know climb barrels, but uh, how to have an eye for things. And she um, just taught me how to clean shoes, how to clean. Um, yeah, start scared. Oh my gosh, I do. Yeah, for basically a lot of things. But um, yeah, I I learned so much from her. And then my grandma, she's in her 80s and she's still selling things like in her front yard. So she um, basically hangs all the things that she's selling in the fence, like outside of her house. And people stop and say hi and she develops relationships and um She's just so passionate about getting to know people, not only selling them things, but getting to know them and getting to know like what would be helpful to them if she were to look for stuff. Um, so yeah, so just, I come from that generational perspective and I thought that it would be a really good opportunity to honor my aunt um, who passed away a couple of years ago um, and continue her legacy through me. So it's an honor to be able to to do this and yeah just as a part-time you know uh gig for now but just really really excited um to be to have started i think that's the biggest thing so thank you thank you for you know listening and um and being here tonight as you can see i have background music if it bothers anybody let me know but <laughs> i enjoy it um and it just doesn't sound as silent so as silent you know um Oh, so my, yes, it's called Tichi's Closet because my aunt, um, her nickname was Tichi. So everybody in Mexico knew her as Tichi um, and I would call her my tia Tichi. And when I told my husband about this dream of mine, he said, oh my gosh, I have the perfect name, Tichi's Closet. <laughs> so um, we decided, or I decided that that was going to be the name and it was perfect um, and yeah, again, just such an honor to be able to carry her legacy. Um, but let's see, I want to go ahead and yeah, ask if anybody's willing to share um, how they got started. And I would love to read the comments and kind of go back and forth. Um, if you don't mind sharing what you're up to tonight. Um, I don't know, just anything you want to share, any questions. Um, I want it to be as interactive as we can. Don't be scared. I talk for a living, so I'm a I'm a mental health counselor. Um, so I, yeah, I like talking. I like listening. I like understanding. Um, and I always have stories, <laughs> so many stories, but and an opinion probably for everything. Anyway, um, so yeah. So let me get started, and I'll do my best to kind of go through items and uh, 
my husband's gonna go ahead and put the link of each item that I go through. Um, hello! And hi, Angela, thank you for joining us. Hi, Misty, thank you. Huge fan, Misty, huge fan. Um, so, yeah, so anyway, if you have any questions, um, yes, Peter can definitely, <laughs> my husband can definitely do that. Um, yeah, so, yeah, let's get started. Who, Natalie, thank you. Okay, let's see. I got started because my dog was diagnosed with diabetes and I wanted to make a second income. Insulin and all the tests are so expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I, yes. So, mm -hmm. where is she? Yes. So that's Sasha right there. And I, oh my gosh, I would do whatever it would take in order to do that. Um, and yeah, to provide any sort of, you know, test or anything like that. So that's amazing that you're doing that for them. So for him. Do you mind sharing the dog's name? Um, okay, I don't want to miss any either, but, and then Misty, the quickest way to success is to start now and figure out as if you go, you can't, um, oh, in, the car, car, in the parked car, in the parked car yes, 100%. And I, I so appreciate that encouragement. I feel like I'm always trying to tell myself that because I, I do get a lot of doubts and fears. Um, so yeah. That, that is a, a hard thing for me to do. Um, so yeah, let me get started with this beautiful piece. I love this sweater. Um, I think it's gorgeous for this upcoming, well, it's already fall. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's crazy. Um, so everything's moving so fast. Woody, oh, so cute. It's maybe Snouser. <laughs> Snouser. Snouser? Snouser. Oh, goodness. Oh my gosh. I need to work on my pronunciation. But I love it. It's super cute. Um, black and white pattern. I can't remember what the pattern I put on there it is, but because um, I looked it up and it... Geometric Roman print. Roman. Roman? Roman. Roman print. Yeah. I, I like to call it geometric, but it also reminds me of, you know, the doodle thing where you like the... What is it called? You, you can like make little figures and like squares. Uh, the doodle thing, like back in the 70s, I don't know, or I think it's back in the 70s, but really it was the 90s. Anyway, um, but <laughs> I love this one. Um, it's a medium size weekday brand. Um, it's sold in the, I found it on online in the ASOS website. Um, still learning my brands, but that one's a really um, fun brand that I loved for a long time. I just don't know how to say it, but I, I love love the brand but I found this one and I think it's gorgeous um, and the link is on there I can't even tell you how much it is on my closet 40. it is 40 on my closet so but medium. I forgot to mention um, that if there are any items on here that you're like oh my gosh Mari like I love them um, please let me know like put it in the comments um, on here that you're interested and we can chat like if sketch sketch etch, etch a sketch yes thank you misty <laughs> i appreciate it yes um and so yes that's what it reminds of, reminds me of the pattern but i used to yes yeah, spend hours doing that uh, when i was little but yeah so if you like any item and you're like oh my gosh i love it mari please bundle them on the closet and if you don't know how to do that no worries you can just message me um and i can give you a discount and shipping and things like that so i again i'm just Excited that you're here and that you're willing to share in the love for clothes that I have. So, two comments, one from Misty and one from Angela about how they started. Um, oh, yay. Okay, cool. Let me see. Um, the quickest way for Misty is, no, wait. No, I already read that one. Misty said started accidentally on top. Oh, there. yes. The quick. Why am I not getting those? So, Misty said started accidentally on Poshmark when I saw a friend selling so, so I, I took my, my love, love of drift. drift. It is my oldest daughter's med school fund. Aww. Aww. I love that. That's so, so touching in so many levels. Um, yeah. And especially that mom daughter relationship that warms my heart so much. Um, and then Angela, I was a retail manager, manager in my past career and I have had cancer three times. So hard to commit to a formal schedule. So this is the answer for me. <laughs> I love that. Thank you for being here, Angela. That's awesome. Thank you for being a fighter. Um, let's see. Okay. Misty says big socks. 
is what it sounds like. For what? What did I say? A-S-O-S. Oh. Ah, yes. Now I'm going to remember. Oh my gosh. Thank you. That's so helpful. <laughs> um, then I have this little cute car leaf. I, I call it little because it's kind of like a crop. Um, I love it. It is like a houndstooth uh, pattern, it said, um, online. I loved it because of the buttons. So the whole reason why I got it was the buttons. Uh, <laughs> I just love big buttons. I'm super bummed though because some of it some of the like little strapping has come off a little bit but it's still like buttons really well i hope i yeah pray for me i hope it doesn't like fall off or anything but yeah everything's fine um and i have done it multiple times to make sure that it, st it stays but i love it it's super cute it's a brand named carly and it's a size small um and yeah it's it's gorgeous so that one's also on my closet as well. Um, again, I don't even do this for the, what What was the price on this one? I'm looking for it, uh, 40. I think I also said 40, mainly because it is like gorgeous inside also. So like it's um, in very, very good condition also. So anyway, I don't know if you can see that, but really like it. Um, okay. And then I also have this little cardigan that I have modeled also um oh my gosh i would love your thoughts on the modeling situation i'm not really sure how i feel about it all the time but um yeah this is a cute super cute cardigan um also with the geometric pieces um i loved it because it has like a back opening um that i think is super cute um yes so cute for fall i love yeah um and this one just you can throw on like with a pair of leggings um or like jeans um yeah and it's brand the brand is say what say what there you go um and yeah it's very much open how much 22. and it, i am selling it for 22 dollars. like i said don't be scared of the price or anything like that just let me know if you're interested in anything and we can figure out a deal um but yeah super cute any, any questions, please throw them at, at me, right? I thought so too. I love the back. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay. And then I have this little crop top. Um, it is a size small express. Super cute. I love the different, like, um, I think it's called collar, cool, cool, no, wow. Coll collar block. There we go. And um, like the difference in pattern, or like, yeah, men pattern really. So it's striped and solid, and it's all solid in the back too. So I really, I really like the style. Um, very warm and cozy. I also um, tried it on and modeled it for you guys on my, in my closet too. Um, yeah, just really love it. And it's in really good condition as well. Awesome. Are the sleeves tight on that, or is it more like poncho sleeves? Which one? Ask Angel which one she's asking. Yeah. Sorry, Angel. Mm -hmm. she might, she that Maybe the poncho. Oh, that's a good, uh, that's a really good, oh my gosh, I'm showing you my, okay, let me just sit up straight. Okay, so it's like this, which I love too. So is it a loose? Yeah, I would like say, like not open all the way, because I, I think a poncho would be, no, yeah. Yeah, so a poncho would be open all the way, I think. But this one has like an opening like this, but it's super, yeah, just relaxed fit. And then it's open at the bottom like that. But thank you for asking that. I didn't think about that description. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Um, oh yeah, this is a new one that I just found. I loved it. So I got it because it's such an interesting um, piece. So cool thing that I'm learning is that this brand is a five centimeter, five CM brand. Um, but before 2018, it used to be this, and it was a designer um, brand in China, but now it's actually spelled five and then CM. 
um, after 2018. Um, and they're sold in New York. So there's um, like actual designer brands. I was really excited about this piece. Um, but yeah, super, super fun. I think I'm selling it for like 70, 75. Um, it's wool and 100% wool. It's gorgeous, like the embroider, embroidery um, in the front. Is an, it's an elk and it's just, I like think about a sun at, like around it and it's completely like in excellent condition. There's nothing coming off or anything like that. Um, so anyway, I just, I loved it. I think it can go either way, like unisex you know, sex from my perspective. Um, yeah, super cute. Okay. So yeah, there's a little, I'm learning so much guys, <laughs> so much. Um, and then this one's also, oh my goodness, I am debating about this one. So here I am showing it to you guys, but <laughs> I love it. So it's super warm. It's, um, the brand is Weatherproof Vintage. It's a size medium. Very, very cute as well. Um, oh yeah, so Misty, yeah, I know, I just found it. So super, super nice. I had to do a bunch of research in order to actually find the brand. And that's why I couldn't find it because... It, it changed after 2018. So I love that stuff. Kind of like a nerd for sure, but on the low key, not a lot of people know. Uh, so, uh, and then, yes, I like this because of, I mean, the pattern's just gorgeous. I love like the, um, the color itself. I think it will be great for not only fall, but also winter um, for like that cozy vibe that we're going off of. But yeah, how much is this one? Did I put this one? 24 right now um but it continues to go down so whoever's interested snatch it Ooh. and then another piece that is so cute oh no okay don't laugh at me i'm running out of space i need a bit of space okay i have this one it is made well i love those sleeves if you can see it right here on the side they're just like a little bigger kind of i don't know if balloon all the way but definitely um bigger on the sleeves and then it like closes in the um in the wrist area um i think it's like a definitely brown but i i would say like with a little bit of gold i want to say and green um it is super pretty and it is size medium in excellent condition as well how much did i put this one for uh. Yeah, I love it. What do you guys think? Madewell does Maywell. it again. They make such great pieces. Classic, classic. 27. 27 for now. Cool. Awesome. And then I have um, this super cute free people. Got it. Uh, long sleeve. I got it because of this like um, crochet, I would say. And then like leopard print at the bottom i thought it was such a unique piece um there's not a whole lot of them out there online um so i i snatched it it was it's just such a cute army like green army color um like a waffle knit i think it's what it's called long sleeve um yeah super super cute it is on the smaller side it's an extra small um hence why i haven't modeled it but <laughs> it's so cute um but yeah i loved it and this one's 22. Oh, that's a steal. Yeah, awesome. I've had a lot of people interested in it, so I don't know. And then um, I'm gonna stand up really quick. I have um, this pants, yeah, pair of pants, and they're Project G. I, um, I also knew, I'm new to this one as well, um, but it is new with tags. Um, I really like it because of the back it has pockets in the back uh, i love pockets i guess <laughs> and then the t the end is wide leg not off not super super big but definitely on the wider side um i should probably take me measurements of that but i really like it i like love the color because i think it goes well with so many different you know fall fall sweaters um or fall colors and sweaters and things like that but yeah i love it too and it is size 12, I forgot to mention. Yes. How much? 30? Mm -hmm. Perfect. 30. I will keep going. Any other things that you guys are doing? 
um right that's so different i know and that is super unique and cute i thought so too super comfy yes 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 i try to pick like the ones that would look like really really comfy <laughs> um and cozy for the fall um oh this is one of my favorites as well so this is a brand that i can't actually say i need to work on my like brand names and saying them um you're gonna be like this is such an easy brand judge me all you want um <laughs> what is the name maurice maurice maurice's it is a mall brand um you're probably gonna be like Murray, really but Murray's, it is yeah maurice's maurice's okay i i've been practicing Cal i've been practicing the who cow neck yes cow neck yes i learned that too this style right here is a cow neck so love it love the color um yeah and the like the sleeves are also big and i i just love that i don't like being restricted at all when it comes to sweaters but this is the the thing that grabbed me to it so this back right here is just gorgeous me and laces for some reason i love lacing um it just is so pretty so yeah it's an extra extra large i have it for 20 so snatch it also cool and I have another free people. Yay! I like free people. Um, but these are like smaller sizes. Um, well, this one did fit and I did model it for you, but also laces. Um, and the only thing I, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like this like orangey thing from the, um, from the material of the brass, I guess you could call it. Um, but yeah, I don't like that, but I love them. Just like the uniqueness of it and on the sleeve, it's just so beautiful. Um, but anyway, it is a size medium. Everything else about it is gorgeous. The what? 28. Okay, and I have it for 28. Um, everything else about it is just gorgeous. And again, another awesome fall piece as well. Um, how we doing? I haven't had any wine today. Uh, I would love to at some point <laughs> after I finish this because I was so nervous. Um, but this is another one. Um, and it is, the brand is Caution to the Wind. I love this brand. Um, there's just a lot of like little cute um, embroidery that comes with it. And then also the material is super soft um, and it is like a crop top for sure, I would say, um, but definitely um, like in the crop top itself, it, it actually is like loose and very much a relaxed fit, I would say. Um, and the daisies are just gorgeous in front. Um, and I have it for 16. I think I put the measurements, I, I try to put the measurements for everything. This one did not come with a care tag or a size tag. But I'm guessing it's probably like a, yeah, I'm going to say like a smaller medium. Could probably fit in this, but I would say, you know, small, comfortable. <laughs> um, but medium, I think, would do it too. So it kind of depends on your measurements as well. Um, awesome. And then this one is also another one of my favorites. I know this one's like for 18 because I've had a lot of interest on, on this piece. Um, so I'm selling it for 18 it is that brand that a lot of people we don't feel really happy about. Um, chain, Chine, whatever it is called. But I, if you try to ignore the brand, <laughs> I love, love the colors and the plaid. Um, it's just so, so cute. Um, let me see. Yeah. Um, thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. Um, and yeah, it, it is so soft, so that's why I look, I grabbed it too, because it is so soft. Um, so yeah, so snatch this one as well. This is a size small. Honestly, a, a size medium would definitely like be totally comfortable. Um, oh yeah, because I modeled, modeled it for you guys too, so there you go. Um, but yeah, I love it. And I think it's 18, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Sasha, I don't want to step on you, baby. Okay, this one is like a coral uh, salmon coral I, I don't know uh i love it it is kind of textured um i don't know how to describe that in my post or my listing but i think it's such a relaxed kind of boho style um hence 
when I wrapped it and I like just fell in love with it. I love the buttons. They're in, it's in excellent condition. Um, the brand is Two by Vince Camuto. I hope I'm saying that right. Please correct me. Oh my gosh, people are going to be like, we need to teach you all these brands. <laughs> um, so it is size large. Um, super, super cute. And yeah, I can't remember how much this one is. 20. 20. Cool. Awesome. Um, and then we're nearing the bold colors. I wanted to bring something that would be on the bold side um, and just fun, like fall slash I guess I'm cheating a little bit with winter but this is a J Crew large turtleneck and oh my gosh look at these I don't know I just love the sleeves again maybe I am like a balloon sleeve fan <laughs> anything big sleeves I'm just there um but yeah super super soft I um I, I don't have the care tag for this unfortunately um yes yes um uh, but I love I, exactly, Misty. I love it. Um, yeah, so the care tag is not here, but it is kind of like a, um, I would say there's probably some wool in it for sure. Um, so I'm going to call it like a wool blend. Um, and I just love, love the fit. It is like a over, not oversized, but just like really good, you know, space um, to be comfortable and cozy. How much do I have this one for? 28. 28. Snatch it. It's so cute. Love it. I love the color too. I mean, the light blue. It's gorgeous. Um, and then this is like, uh, I'm taking a little bit of a risk, risk with this. Um, I saw it and I fell in love with the color, but this is a new brand for me because I, um, so I lived in Colorado for a period of time and, um, I know, oh my God. Okay. So I lived in California. Um, where you're gonna get scared the weather was well I lived in Mexico for a period of time and then um, immigrated to the US when I was 10 but the the weather <laughs> was 126 degrees <laughs> so I literally my husband jokes that there was like one coat like, that I had that I could use like during the one week of the year where it was like really cold and really cold was like what was the weather that was really cold for me, like in the 60s <laughs> or 70s? So, anyway, that is something that I, <laughs> uh, anyway, that it is, it is just, it was so hot. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, this is a small petite, and it is an L.L. Bean brand. Um, so, I know all about, like, North Face and Columbia and all of the, like, um, outerwear brands in Colorado so I lived in Colorado for a little while so I know all of that and I love love those brands but then I got here to the east they were in Ohio and a lot of people have talked about LL Bean so I'm learning a lot this is a little cardigan that I just love the color um, it is like considered a vintage style because everything like um, I can't even remember the year right now I don't know why I'm blacking out but like it is crazy that 20 years yeah 20 years from now things are vintage like it's just it blows my mind uh, because i'm not that old but here we are um but yes i love this beautiful brand oh, beautiful yeah the brand is cool too and the cardigan is just gorgeous too so everything's perfect with it um but i can't remember 27 cool perfect um and it's just adorable so that's ll bean for you guys uh, okay and I feel like I still need to learn so much more about it. I, I have one, I have a jacket, but I haven't posted or done anything with it because the sleeves are kind of dirty. So I'm trying to see if I can work on that. Um, but it's like a vintage piece um, as well. So I'm excited to try to figure out how I can make it look a little bit better. Um, but this is another J. Crew, So I am a fan of J. Crew. So you'll probably see more pieces in my closet that I have. Uh, this brand I just think it's such a well-made um, brand and um, they have such sustainable pieces um, because they last a long time so that's the cool part about J Crew from my perspective um, and they have different styles and they fit different people which I love too so anyway but love this fuchsia I mean it's just so good um, also a wool blend unfortunately this one didn't this one didn't have a care tag either um but i mean it's just so so cute it, the 
The sleeves are not as big as the blue one, but it is also very, very much um, and super cute too. So this is also in my closet for, how much did I put this one? Uh, 38. 38 for this one and super cute also. Um, and then you guys are gonna get some other pieces that I just added actually to tonight. So I'm excited to show you guys those. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I have this jean, these, this, this pair of jeans. They're from the brand Jones New York. They're a size 10, um, new with tags, super cute style, boot cut. Um, and yeah, they're just awesome. And also with the pockets, but these don't have a buttons or anything, but just really, really cute. They are very much stretchy, um, which I'm a fan of. Oh, no, wait, they call it straight leg. Sure. But, um, yeah, very, very cute. I love them. Um, and the blue is just very much like a color that you can use, like, throughout the year. You know, it doesn't only have to be fall, but. 32. 32. I'm sorry. $32 for that one. And then I just found these. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm a huge fan of the Fleta. Um. I don't, so I still like Lululemon more than Athleta, I would say, um, but I love that they, and I know Lululemon does too, but I think Athleta has had a little bit more time with Athleta Girl, like um, like kids' pieces. J. Crew sweater. Oh yeah, tell me more. Oh my gosh, why do I get the messages so late? Okay, L.L. Bean and Lance and uh, you don't always pick up, but I like selling them, right? I know, I know. I have that same agenda. Oh, so cute. Yes. L.L. Bean. Okay. And then these are all classic must-haves that don't go out of style. I love it. Yes, yes. Classics. Yes. 100%. I am kind of like a classic girl, I would say, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, let's see. Okay. Athleta Girl Polar Tech Tight. So, oh, yeah, what I was saying. I think Athleta has had a little bit more experience with kids like clothes and I just love also that they make them so incredibly warm and cozy um so they're not just like your typical tights um like just skin tight I, I guess um but they are also going to keep her warm so these are size 12 I believe yep size 12 um and yeah I love them they're super cute and how much do I have them for 32. How, how much 32 32 for these and they're like literally brand like if they don't have any tags or anything but they're very much like on the new um they look exactly new but and then okay a couple more pieces um all righty let's see oh and i forgot to mention my price so i have a starbucks card to the first purchase for tonight um so i if you put it on there that you were in our life um, or you're in the group, I would love to gift you a little Starbucks gift card. But anyway, oh my goodness, I forgot about that. Thank you, Peter, thank you uh, <laughs> for remembering. So I just posted this piece, it's Gibson, um, learning about this brand as well. What I loved about it is just how cozy and of course like the fall color is just gorgeous. It's kind of like a um, orange with black like mix. And it's just so so beautiful um and again or i'm sorry and it's also like low and high no wait high and low there we go <laughs> um and it could be paired with jeans with like a skirt i'm envisioning and boots as well so really really cute piece i just posted this one um how much did i put this one for 15, 15 for this one and okay oh this is also another one that i really like um I think this one, like how people were describing it online, I think I, when I was doing research on it, uh, the brand is, I have no idea how to say this, but here we are, Zanana Premium. Zanana. Zanana, yes. I love how to say it. I love like when it comes out of my mouth, but um, it is a size medium and it's like a popcorn sweater style. Um, so like it's a little bit texturized for sure. And it's also like see-through, so definitely caution there, um, but super cute. And um, and also like very much roomy. You can probably wear it, like get, on, get away with wearing it with leggings. And I have the length on there too on my descriptions as well, um, but very cute piece. 
And how much do I have this one? 15. 15 for this one as well. Steals, steals. Okay. And then I wanted to just um, also include this one as well. Just another super cute sweater. It's called Choles on here. I'm probably saying it way too Hispanic-like, but <laughs> this is the, the brand it's, is that. And it is gorgeous. Like it actually like wraps and it's a crisscross type of deal. Um, and it can go off the shoulder as well. Um, and it's like bigger sleeves and then a tighter at the bottom. So very cute piece too. And this one I have for, no way. 25. 25 for this one. Super cute, chunky as well. I forgot to mention, kind of like a gray slash with black um, colors. If you can see it right there. Super cute. Okay. I have two more things and then we're done. But this dress is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it's not as, okay. Here we go, I think you can see it. It is long sleeve. Um, Peruvian Connection is the brand. Also learning my brands as well. Um, this one's a long sleeve. And the pattern is just gorgeous. Um, it is an extra small, so I can't model it for you guys, but it's so pretty. You'll see it in my closet. I just posted it. It is on the higher end of my items. I think I posted it for 45, 45 uh, for this dress. Again, because of the material and how beautiful it is, um, it does have like a round neckline. It's in really gorgeous, yeah, condition, 100%, and uh, in an excellent condition. And yeah, it's just so so pretty. Anyway, so that is me and my Peruvian connection dress. <laughs> uh, and then it's perfect for fall, I think, for like uh, date night or, you know, a girls night out. Um, so anyway, that's the dress. Um, and then I wanted to make sure that I included something for another little one. I unfortunately didn't have a whole lot of time to post more things for little ones. But I will be working on that the coming days so that they're ready for you guys in my closet. Um, but this one's, these are a size 8 and they're super cute. So um, the sides have like little glitter straps. Um, there's like hardly any noticeable wear just like in the zipper area. And there's pictures in my closet for those as well. Um, but super cute. I um, didn't even see any wear whatsoever um, on these either. But very very fall um boots for the little ones as well so they are styling too um but yeah i have gone through all my things oh my goodness um yeah i am just so grateful to be a part of this group um and thank you for allowing me to take part in your night um on a monday night <laughs> uh nonetheless and i look forward to having more time to spend together and learn um, there's so much that I have to learn, um, just as a, not only like about clothes, but also just being mindful of the business side of this too, because I, I don't know, you know, I don't know where this would lead. I'm just excited to be here and to be able to do what I enjoy. I love thrifting. You can, you know, ask my friends <laughs> that I, I love doing it. I can spend hours doing it and it's just how I feel comfortable. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for being here. And I hope you have a great rest of your night. Um, don't forget for anybody watching this later too. Um, don't forget to, you know, uh, say on your purchase if you're purchasing from this group and I will get you that gift card. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Have a good night. Thank you guys.